Welcome back to Common Rider Review, episode 103. This is discussing not only four episodes of Common Rider Black, but also, I'm also going to be discussing the first of two movies that this series had. The first thing I'm, uh, the first movie, which apparently was taking place between, uh, it took place between episode 22 and 23, so I figured I'd want to discuss it here. This is Hard Onigashima. Yes. Now the way this this movie is structured, it's like, it's like this is supposed to be an epi- It's like it's like a regular episode of the series. Uh, if you think about it, it's the same exact length. And I tend to think though, why wasn't this an episode of the series? Because there was nothing in here that says it couldn't be. Like all the primary players are here. It says that the third thing in this movie is that the monsters kidnapping children bring us out. Uh, the biggest thing about this movie is that we have a cameo by the creator of Kamen Rider Super Sentai, Ishimori. Yep. Yeah, it was, um... Shintaro Ishimori, he cameos as a fisherman. Not just one scene. He's on screen for about five minutes. It's great to see the guy. It is interesting, though. He This is probably the first time I can think of he's ever appeared on anything related to Kamen Rider. <sighs> yeah. I really enjoy his role here. It does basically just bring us the plot, but that may be the reason why I made this movie because basically the creator of the franchise is makes a cameo. Fine. But aside from that, there's nothing to say you couldn't make this work up as a series. Yeah. Probably because basically they had more money to spend on the explosion. That's probably the reason why they made this a movie. In the case of the very next episode of the series... Called Mero's Magic Power. Yeah, the whole thing in this one is that we have Comrade fighting this monster who's got the second power stuff and it's just like here for a bit and then it's dropped because a kid gets his hands on one of its heads. Because it's revealed that this creature's got two brains one for telekinesis, the other for combat. So the monsters have been killed by the end of the episode. It feels like this one focuses more on the kid. Than, than, than the actual... What was the actual part of this episode? Really nothing. It's really a pointless... It's, this episode is... It seems like a standard filler. Female College Students Nightmare. This is episode 24 of the series. This one is debut of... Basically, in a way, a group of one-shot characters. This one. This is the Gormshin Tai, and they're only... He- well, actually, no, they're not here for one episode. They're here for one more episode. Which I'll get to later on when I come back from my break from this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just a group of boys who are just here, and then they're gone. Oh, by the way, they make their debut in an episode where it does not feature... Um, Bagalia. Yes, the warrior. Yeah, he's absent for some reason. I don't know what, what the reason was. Maybe the movie just gave an explanation of why he was absent. He was confined. But very next episode is quite interesting. He gets his own more like a next episode called Hell Spot. Yeah, where he uses a the student of the guy who created Road Sector to make it. But sadly, the machines are destroyed by the, by the end of the episode. And the the very next episode is. But by the way, the monster one is a praying mantis. Last episode kind of discussed here is episode 26 where he is there at the beginning and he's not in again. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you can't interfere. Like, really? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm not going to interfere. I'm just, I'm just going to observe. And true to his word, he's not interfere with the plot of this episode. By the way, 24 also involved basically using... Yeah, it's like the, the freeze himself basically are reduced to like a supporting role in their own... And where they're basically there for like 
two scenes. It's like the monster drives the episode for 24. Yep. Twenty five is kind of similar. We have a mutant who is a freaking minotaur, take control of a little girl who wants to come stronger. And this is another one of those feller episodes because it doesn't really accomplish much anything at all, not really. So I'd say of these four episodes, you could definitely say that twenty three and uh, twenty six are basically filler. While in the case, you could definitely say that twenty four and twenty five are definitely canon. The movie itself, I don't think it's filler per se, but it's a very interesting movie for what it is. Yep, so yeah, that's it particular view. Next up is going to be a comic corner that's on the case close afterwards. Okay, next view. Bye.